Hello, my name is Robbie Ferry and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, you know what you have to do. <laughs> so, welcome to Norfolk. This is where I live. So, we're in a place called Sandringham today. Um, I'm just out on a ride and I wanted to do a quick video about contact points. So, when people in the cycling world talk about contact points, they're talking about how you connect to the bike. So, we're talking about saddle, we're talking about handlebars, we're talking about pedals, we're talking about shoes. Why are they so important? They're important because they take so much pressure and they're such a strong connection to the bike. And when you're racing, you know, big miles or doing long distance riding, you need to make sure that you get these right because you can not only give yourself huge amounts of injury, but you can make riding so uncomfortable for yourself. So I want to start with, you know, saddles. I actually use a Pro Stealth, a very fantastic saddle. This is the off-road version, so it's got a little bit of padding to it. On top of that, handlebar wise, what I've got is flat top bars here. These are the Pro Discovers. They flare out of the side here, which make it a little bit more comfortable there. And Pro Bar Tape, so it gives me a nice bit of cushioning. Do I want to wear gloves? I wear gloves as much as I can, unless it's too hot. I do apologise, there's a car about to come past. Or two. That's a cool one. So gloves, uh, I do try and wear them as much as possible just to kind of take my hands and give them a little bit more cushioning. But there is an argument that you should actually train with gloves as little as possible so you can harden them up and make them better for when you're racing ultra, for example. Another thing that I do up top here is I actually use Shimano GRX, which is a gravel group set. And uh, as you can see, the shifters have a very flat top with some really nice indentations there that really do help plant your hand and take the pressure off the bottom of your hand here, giving better blood flow, making sure that these little parts of your hands, you know, your fingers here don't go numb and go all tingly when you're about an hour or two into a ride. Another thing I want to mention is shoes. So under these overshoes, I'm wearing a set of Shimano s shoes. They're a fantastic shoe. And what I like about Shimano as a brand is their shoes are a little bit wider than most. Well, that's what I find personally. So it makes them really comfortable because you've got to think all that pressure. We talk about wattage. We talk about how you're going into big climbs and pounding down high cadence, low cadence. All of this is putting so much pressure on your feet. If you were to be walking all day, then your feet would hurt. So you've got to understand that's going to be the same for cycling. So make sure you get shoes that work, shoes that fit, shoes that really do make a difference. So I am going to go into a little bit more detail on each contact point in some videos on my channel. So they'll be up in the next week or so. But when people are talking about contact points, they are talking about your seat, they're talking about your bib shorts, they're talking about your bar tape, gloves, shifters, and they're talking about your shoes, and they're talking about your pedals. So these are the points where you connect to the bike. 